Hey, what's up guys? Uh, here today to show you the 7.1.1 jailbreak. Uh, it's only available on Windows right now, so unfortunately I'm here on my Mac Pro in Windows. Uh, the GUI is pretty horrible. It's using expired certificates to inject the jailbreak code and it's not legal whatsoever. whatsoever. I think maybe one country in the world it's considered legal so proceed with caution you guys uh, this is installing also PP25's app sync which you guys maybe don't understand what that means but basically for you pirates who don't feel like paying for apps PP25 sync is the app sync that has been written and been used since install us it's just been reworked for the newest iOS's and it writes to launch D which is bad uh, reason that that's bad is because when you write to launch D without using say something like a city of substrates that would you know create a temporary it's it's hard to explain without you guys really getting into it a anyways it's like sandboxing basically like they're gonna create a separate section of system files that have been cloned but able to be modified that's one of the beauties of city of substrates and being able to disable it is so that we can go back to uh, stock anyways I'm gonna use this jailbreak we're gonna call it this is pretty bad as you can see here it's full of question marks and a horrible gooey here like I'm sorry to put this down but this is this is horrible <laughs> anyways so the first jailbreak ever using expired enterprise tickets and exploits from training courses uh to unlock the latest jail or the latest ios devices you guys are really getting desperate for a jailbreak here i just i just need to say personally i don't need a jailbreak i'm very happy without but i love making videos so this is just perfect for me here we are 7.11 on my iphone 5 i'm gonna hop in here you can see the um the phone gui is correct this isn't ios 7.0 whatever to trick you and if i hop into here you can see I've got these ugly new power things anyways so before we even begin with this jailbreak this we got to do this because you're gonna read the GUI here in a minute and it makes no bloody sense here I'll even run it let's run it right now you're gonna get the screen so what they wanted you to do is they want you to go settings general and then you're gonna go to time you're gonna manually set your time you're gonna set it to June 2nd, which was actually the last day these certificates expired at 8.30 a.m. Now, when I hit back, watch the GUI. All of a sudden, that annoying, ugly screen goes away. We're half three quarters of the way. We've got a lot more question marks going on. This is unedited. Here we go. You can see there's Pangu. Sorry, I guess I could have moved it over one. Still here, guys. Just, uh, I guess I could almost add a timer into the video, maybe, uh, as a countdown. I'm a little worried about this jailbreak, just in, um, stability we have no idea how these guys have been testing uh it looks like they have quite a few team members probably try to direct message a few because i'm quite interested in their work so it looks like we're about half three quarters of the way now am i supposed to initiate pengu are you sure you want to open the application pengu i'm a developer i yeah, sure. Sorry, I probably could have done that a little bit more. As you can see, the GUI doesn't explain shit. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. The mouse is flashing like crazy. I hope I'm not supposed to click on the question marks because it's not doing a very good job of telling me. There it goes. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, this this GUI really is the worst GUI I've ever seen. By the way, for you non-technological people, a GUI, G-U-I, that's what you see here as this interface, whatever. Either way, it's pretty bad. I mean, maybe in Chinese it's good? Man, this is bad. <laughs> So the iPhone um, went to a black screen and asked me not to touch it. I would prefer to leave it alone. Unless it hangs here. Nope, we're in a reboot. Which I've been told we're going to see the Invasion logo, which doesn't surprise me that uh, certain bugs are continuously being reused. Apple seems to be closing the injection the way, like, the basic communications that they need to inject the jailbreak. They don't seem to be fixing other parts of the jailbreak properly. It makes absolutely no sense to me that they don't fix the entire jailbreak <laughs> when they when they patch it, but that's Apple. And I'm not too sure if they want me to unlock my device here. I'm sorry this video has taken a while, but I mean, you guys would have been just as confused as me. So it looks like, boom, here we go. I believe the iPhone's finished. Let's watch the reboot. Oops, sorry guys, I just wanted to check and see if the little spinning wheel's there. It's really hard to see in this low light, just so you guys can see the, the screen properly here. So I'm on my reboot, and this is where I'm expecting to see the Invasion or potentially Pengu logo. I guess we'll see how far they went into changing it. Yep, so, welcome to the Pangu jailbreak. And enjoy the jailbreak. There you go, guys. Cydia. <laughs> and we are jailbroken. I'm not going to go very much further than this. I'll let prepare system files, or prepare, <laughs> preparing system files finish. I'll open Cydia again, allow the page to load, open the sources, refresh, and then our video's done. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I will be doing maybe another video on the macOS side and uh, potentially doing some other videos. Hopefully we get some guys here who are willing to create or even help these guys with an English GUI. I mean, hell, I'm more than willing to help you guys make something in English. Uh, just ask at KDDCL. That's me. Looks like we're finishing a respring. We're back. Welcome to Cydia. <laughs> Looks like they uploaded us with the latest version, 1.1.12. Awesome. And I'm on 7.11. It's no BS. And I'm on tethered jailbreak. One more reload just for fun. Boom, that was fast. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Enjoy the jailbreak.